This is what happened yesterday working on the film. I got stuck. Now, this is one of those days where I felt like I barely moved the needle. To demonstrate, let me go back to a story years ago. Back in high school, that was a long time ago, I got stuck, but a different kind of stuck. A friend of mine had a Range Rover, an old Range Rover, back when old Range Rovers were actually affordable. Despite him having a fantastic off-road vehicle, his parents did not want him to take it off-road. So of course, he took it off-road. And I borrowed an off-road vehicle because I knew how to drive off-road and I followed him back down this path. We made it about 200 yards and he got stuck. And I'm talking really, really stuck. He had mud up to the doors. It looked like solid earth, but he drove over it. I knew he was gonna get stuck. I saw the dirt. I knew that there was not solid dirt below it. He sunk down into it, mud up to the doors. He could barely open one side of the vehicle. I had to get him unstuck. I knew that if he was stuck back there, he was in big trouble. So I get as close as I can, and I start to try and pull him back out of his dilemma. As I'm pulling him back, I get stuck. Now we've got a big problem. No one is moving, and we're only a little ways down the trail. Eventually, a guy in an old Ford Bronco, he gets down the trail, and we ask him, we beg him, we plead him, please pull us out. He's able to get to my vehicle and starts to slowly pull me back out. I was buried up to the doors too, but he got me out. There's a little problem though. He bent his bumper in the process of pulling me out, but I did get pulled out. My friend who had the Range Rover, he had to spend the night in that Range Rover and eventually the next day, he got some help, including from his parents, and they dug out the Range Rover. Dirt and mud eventually dried out some, and then slowly he backed it out. It was a big mess. But to get back to the point, we got stuck and barely moved the needle. Sometimes when you're writing, that happens. Yesterday, that happened to me. I got stuck and I felt like, ah, oh, I'm not getting anything done. So what was I gonna do? The same thing I did back then. I kept taking action. I couldn't just sit there and think about ways to get unstuck. I'd have been there all night like my friend. Instead, I took action. I found somebody on the trail and begged and pleaded with them, please pull me out of here. I've got final exams the next day. I need to get home so I can get some sleep and take those final exams. It was a big problem. He got me out. We moved the needle just a little bit. Yesterday when I was neck deep, a point where I was stuck in the script, I kept pressing forward. I didn't think to myself, oh, eventually the solution will come to me because that doesn't work very well. It takes forever. It can happen. You can get some inspiration where you say, oh, I've got a perfect idea that will fix this sticking point in the film. But instead I pressed forward. I didn't get very far, but I did cross that sticking point. And I like how it turned out. So I moved the needle by taking action. So I would advise to you, when you get stuck, keep pressing forward. Don't try to think your way out of it, action your way out of it and you'll get unstuck too. I appreciate you following along with the making of this movie, and I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Talk to you later. See ya.